Um, I don't really like the sound of that. That sounds like something I'd do for my pet. Not for me. Um, I've never heard of it, but it does sound like a good idea. Doctor. Right, is there anything you can tell me about the patient? Anything in the medical records? Well, she was brought in unconscious, so I haven't been able to speak to her, and she didn't have any ID on her, so we can't pull up her medical records. Okay, did you check her for a very chip? I'm sorry, I don't know what a very chip is. Okay, I'll show you. Vera chips are a method of patient identification which are particularly useful in situations like this when the patient is unconscious and is unable to communicate with us. They are radio frequency identification devices, or RFIDs, that are implanted into the patient between the elbow and the shoulder. The device is made up of a microchip, a capacitor, and an antenna wrapped around a ferrite core. The components are sealed within a glass capsule that is partially coated in bioband, a porous polypropylene substance that prevents the chip migrating to other parts of the body. They each contain a unique 16-digit code that, when scanned at the correct frequency, allows doctors immediate access to information about the patient, such as all their medical records. Thank you, Doctor. I'll go check for one now. Doctor, aren't there any ethical issues surrounding very chips? Several ethical issues have been raised regarding Verichip. Verichips were first implanted into a large number of laboratory animals. Various testing was undertaken on these subjects. The FDA reviewed the results of the Verichip testing, classing them as a class 2 device. The potential risks put forward included possible carcinogenic effects from the implant. Tests done on laboratory mice and rats showed that 10% of the animals developed malignant tumours around or adjacent to the site of the implant. Adverse tissue reactions were also seen, such as inflammation around the site of implant. The fact that laboratory animals reacted in this way to the chips does not necessarily mean these problems would arise in humans. However, the main reason this became an ethical issue was that of the 2,000 test patients who had the device implanted, none of them were made aware of the potential risks before surgery. People's immediate concern when faced with the idea of human microchipping was that the very chips showed resemblance to those implanted in domestic animals. Studies conducted showed that in the emergency room, the outcome for patients with the very chips was not significantly improved in comparison to patients using simpler and less invasive methods of identification, such as medical bracelets, ID cards or fingerprint scanning. Concerns were also raised about how invasive the procedure would be as it would involve undergoing surgery to implant the device. Also, should the patient wish to have it removed, or the chip was unresponsive once implanted, it would involve a further operation. Another concern people had was about obtaining consent from certain patients. As the chip was originally devised to be implanted into patients suffering from chronic conditions such as Alzheimer's, the issue was raised that consent needed to be obtained before the decline of their mental state had reached a point of not allowing them to fully understand the procedure. Although very chip itself is very difficult to clone, lack of security features on the scanning device raised concern about the possibility of identity theft. Cloned scanning devices could be used to gain access to information about patients, such as medical records and date of birth, simply by standing in close proximity to someone implanted with the device. Um, the risk of identity theft would put me off the idea. Um, it seems like something much more approachable and that might actually work and be a good idea. Very chips were discontinued in 2010 after implantation into only 2,000 people. Concerns over health risks and ethical issues have led to the need for further studies and testing before the idea is brought forward again.